College Board says is a hard question. So it's in my mix of question bank questions that are hard. So here you go. Uh, sign B is 5 over 13. So we need to remember that so ka toa tells us what each of these things means. So sign is the so part, right? So the sign of B is going to be the opposite side, that's the O, over the hypotenuse, that's the H. So that means that the opposite is 5 and the hypotenuse is 13. But wait a minute. It says that the hypotenuse is 26. What's going on? Well, remember, the whole point of trigonometry is that we have different triangles. They're all different sizes. But if we understand the angle, we realize that the proportions of those things are the same. So it doesn't matter how big or small it is. It's going to reduce to the same things. So this is a reduced fraction. So another way to look at it is the opposite side that we're missing, which I guess actually let's just put it in, right? So what is the opposite of B? It's AC, uh, is going to be... Uh, in the same proportion as 5 to 13, and so the 26 is the, the actual hypotenuse, and we can kind of see what happened here, right? The 13 got multiplied by 2, so we should multiply by 2 to get that AC is 10. That, and you can cross-multiply and get that, but, but that's the way to do it. Um, now we can just go to some pretty basic Pythagorean theorem to get side BC. Some of you would have skipped this step and, and known what the answer is going to be kind of pretty confidently right away, but let's just do it the old-fashioned way first. We have to do A squared plus B squared is C squared. 10 is my leg. My other leg is BC, and my hypotenuse is 26. So 100 plus BC squared is, calculator time, 26 squared, 676. And we can do all this in Desmos. I think I did that on another question in this set, but we're going to continue with this process because I've already started it, and that's, I guess, a bad habit to break. So let's take the square root of 576, and it is 24. So there you go, square root, square root. So there you go, 24 is the answer. 24 is the answer, and that's that. Now, the reason some of us would have been able to do a shortcut is we recognize that 5 and 13 are not a, a coincidental set of numbers for trigonometry and for triangles. It, it is part of a Pythagorean triple, what is known as a 5, 12, 13 right triangle. So what happens here is those are just some integers that happen to work out really nicely for Pythagorean theorem and right triangles. So they're going to show up in a lot of problems involving those things because they just work out nice. Um, and that means that any multiple of that set is also going to be um, easy to spot, right? So that's why 10, 24, 26 for many of you was pretty obvious right from the start. So that's fine. If you want to do it that way, I, I love it. I think that those are great things to notice. And the more you practice with the SAT and with geometry generally, the better you will get at noticing those kinds of things. The other one that really comes up a lot, many of you already know it, is 3, 4, 5. That's another Pythagorean triple that is very, very common. We will see it on similar triangles questions, right triangles questions, and uh, trigonometry questions. So if you get comfortable with it, it's going to save you a couple seconds here and there on some hard geometry.